Hi, this is Barbara with johnsonswatt.blogspot.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this box and it's a very big box and I wanted a big box for Christmas and I wanted this box to fit the sleigh on the front. So let's get started. You're going to need cardstock two that measures the um, seven and three fourths by seven. You want two of those. And for the lid you want a four and three fourths by five and seven eighths. And then the lid topper you want three and three quarters by two and five eighths. So let's do some scoring on this. So on the seven and three-fourths side is the long side, so turn it to your seven inch side and score that at three-eighths. and four and a quarter. And then turn it back to your seven and three-fourths side and score at four inches. Okay, now I've already prepared the other one so we don't have to do that. And on the lid You want to score it at one inch on all four sides, but when you put it in your scoreboard, you want to move this over just a smidgen and score at the one inch. And do that on all four sides. Move that over that smidgen on the one inch and on the last side here. Okay, so that's all the scoring we're going to do. Okay, on your box, the bottom box, I've already got this side done here. and it will fit in there like this. So you, this is going to be the bottom of the box and this will be your top of the box. So you want to cut up these score lines here and at this 3 8 of an inch score line. Okay, and then you want to take off about an inch on this big section here. So that's the section, the bigger section at the bottom, and then leave that one alone and cut it about that inch. Because when you fold it, it's going to fold like this. Okay, now I need my silver. I am using the um, silver. Love the burgundies and the blue at it's, it's Christmas time with the silvers. Okay, let me make sure I got all my little corners here. Okay. So you're going to want to come up, and it just fits in there, so you want to come up about, I'll say a half an inch from the bottom, and it's like a quarter inch, eighth of an inch on each side. Give it a firm press. Get 
There we go. And while that's drying, you will take your lid topper that's going to fit in the center of the box and we're using I guess I should say what stamp sets we're using the Star of Light and Santa Slay. The Star of Light I'm using this little guy here the little snowflakes and this these two these two here and the snowflakes. So you want to make sure that's in the center. Hold it there for a few seconds and let that ink transfer to the paper. Just a good even push. Okay, there we go. And I layered these all on one block. And I just want to get all four of the corners here. Okay, that's all the stamping we're going to be doing. Okay, in the center of this medallion here, snowflake, you want to take your piercing tool and just push a little hole right in the center. Give it a little circle motion make that hole a little bit bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and use There we go. Okay. Now I am using the silver 1 8 inch ribbon and you'll want to cut like say about 5 or 6 inches of that. To make this easy to go through the hole, put the two ends together and cut them at a very steep angle to where you have that good pointed edge. be able to feed it pretty good through there. There we go. Pull that out and the six inches should give you plenty of room to tie it into a knot. Okay, once you got that on there, then take some scotch tape and just lay that down to one side and cover it and that will flatten it there. Take some Stampin' Dimensionals. Put in the four corners. Now let's get back to the lid. Okay, the lid. You want it on the long side. Cut 
open up my scissors here. There they are. And you want to cut up to that first score line on each side and then miter the corners in here. Turn it to the opposite side and do the same. And the mitering just gives you a more cleaner edge. Okay, let's burnish the edges, the score lines. use fast fuse on all four little tabs here. fuse is coming off on one side. Okay. Fold your tabs to the inside. Oops, I must have forgot to score that side. Okay, now we've already got this piece done, so a little tip here, if you take your fingernails and push into those um, dimensionals, those little papers will pop right off with an ease. And this is about an eighth of an inch. There we go. Okay, let's set that aside and move on to our box. Okay, we want... I did this one early because I wanted this to dry. I want to use our tear and tape. Okay, now let's burnish this. There we go. Okay, on your boxes, um, you can make up a whole lot of these ahead of time because they're a full flat box easy to store. So, let me get that. There we go. And let's pull off this side. Okay, just fold it over and this one here should line up perfectly. Okay, that gives you that fold flat box. Fold it either way. And store them. Okay, now you can do this either way. You can fold these down and this over. And because I cut that inch off, you could make it the, the even score, or the width, the 2 and 5 eighths, I believe it is, let me, 2 and 3 fourths, 
you can make it two and three fourths, but I didn't want it to hang over. And I wanted the front to be a good fold. And just fold it up. Let's grab the lid. Good tight fit. And there you have it. My Santa sleigh box. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.